So today I want to talk a little bit about what you can do at home to help um, the tennis elbow syndrome. Okay. So first I'm going to explain about what is a tennis elbow, right? Why it develops. Well, tennis elbow always start with a misalignment of one of the joints in your elbow. And this is, so this is your elbow. The main misalignment is the radius. The radius may go forward, may go backwards, or may go to the side. Every injury, remember, start with a, mis with a misalignment. So again, I'm gonna show you this diagram for you. This will protect us. This will protect our elbow, for example. So the alignment of our elbow is our first line of defense, okay? If the alignment is, comp is compromised, then the second layer to be overstressed is your muscles. And this is tennis elbow. When someone has a tendinitis in the muscle layer that is overlying the elbow, okay? So to treat tennis elbow, we have to help the muscle and we have to realign the joint. Today I'm gonna show you some techniques you can do at home to help to reduce the symptoms, okay, by decreasing the inflammation and breaking any kind of scar tissue that sometimes develop in tennis elbow, okay? So one technique you can do is, first, you have to find the joint, right? And how do you find the joint? Well, you're gonna run your finger down the arm and you're gonna feel prominence, okay? You just go below that prominence and that's the radius, right? That's where all the tendons and muscles are passing. So what you have to do is, you're gonna make this type of hook with your fingers, okay? So index finger, and then the one, uh, behind, um, the one following, just go on top, create that hook, and then you do just a bit of a friction on that tendon, okay? You put some pressure down, and then you do a bit of friction. You do a little bit, for maybe a few seconds, then you go down, same thing, bit of friction. That friction is helping to soften all the soft tissue, is helping to break scar tissue, right? It helps to flush the inflammation out of your elbow, right? So again, make a hook, find the prominence, the bony prominence, just go slightly below that and work on that area, okay? Nice friction with your arm relaxed. A little bit down, a little bit more down. Okay, so we can do two or three spots around this area. How much time are you gonna be doing this? No more than four to five minutes. Okay, with, with few breaks in between, right? After you soften that tendon, soft tissue, the inflammation probably is gonna be a little bit more reduced. Then you can go and stretch, all right? So to stretch, you have to first stretch your elbow then you're gonna bring your hand down. Then you apply just a bit of a pressure, not in fingers, just in this part of your hand. Push it down until you feel a little bit of a tension in this area, and you hold it 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, you take a break, maybe five, 10 seconds, then you do it again. Stretching is always three times, repeat three times, holding 20 seconds each time. By doing those two techniques, you'll be able to reduce a lot of the inflammation, soften the soft tissue, all right, and help the healing of the muscles, okay? So this uh, self-treatment protocol that I created that you can do at home, that's really gonna help your elbow pain.